Hi, there's been a terrible accident. There's been a terrible accident. Running through the money, but the money's long. I don't love it, but I need to keep it coming on. No, no, Only no, friendly, no. me and friends, we don't get along. I might book a session, do a honey songs. I'ma let you hear them just to prove you wrong. Um, I left my backpack at Maka's house. You don't uh, have enough flavor for your conversation. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Sorry, I, I just had to be a little late. I'll be back soon. Okay, so I will. Bye bye. Hey, my mom got me. I need to go back to school. Can you get me? Can you get me a ride? Alright, cool. Let's go. I'm gonna be so late to class, dude. I got a test soon. I haven't studied at all. Do you, do you want me to drive, bro? I'll drive. I, I'm not sure if you're okay to drive. I'm late for school. Do you mind if I get a ride? Of course. Thank Catherine. you so much. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, the seatbelt's locked. It's okay. It's okay. We're like yeah. Bro, I don't think you should be driving right now. You are messed up, bro. I don't. I don't think you should be. Let, let me drive. Let me drive. I'll drive. I don't. I really don't think you should be driving, dude. You are not cool to drive. Just let me drive. Let me drive. I'll drive as best. Come on, dude, just let me drive. You shouldn't be driving. I mean, come on, bro. Okay. Thank you so much. I, dude, I have a test in pre-calc today. Of I was course. so nervous I was gonna miss it. Oh, girl, don't even worry about it. I feel that, though. Pre-calc is, who do you have, Ms. Davis? I have Ms. Davis, Ms. yeah. Davis. Oh my goodness, I can imagine. Yeah. Good thing we're not gonna be late then. Yeah, thank goodness. I was so nervous, and I just want time to study and relax, and yeah. I hate being late to school. I know, that is the worst. And now the detention policies are so strict. Yes, it's dude, crazy. it's so crazy. My friend is late to school, like, not even, because she has, um, she has, like, stomach problems sometimes. Yeah. And she, like, she's been getting so many, like, detention slips for no reason. Like, it's not her fault, and it should be.
Tristan. Tristan, watch out! Battalion 53 at scene, truck 37 at scene, medic 236 at scene. I have a two vehicle accident. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I don't know, I was driving and then all, all of a sudden we hit something. Okay, come on with me. Can't feel your legs? Seven. Okay. Four total patients. How old are you? Three with injuries. Another patient? Copy that. Three, one, two, three. Jake, I got him. to make sure that you're okay to drive right now. I can smell the odor of an alcoholic beverage coming from you. Have you had anything to drink today? No, sir. Okay, is there a reason why I can smell it? I don't know, sir. Okay. What I want you to do right now is I want you to follow my finger. Take nine, you'll two steps forward. One. Two. Three. All right, Tristan, this is an alcohol screen device. Okay, deep breath. Really hard. Blow, blow harder. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Harder, harder, harder. Keep going. Okay. At this time, we're going to place you under arrest for driving on the influence of alcohol. Yes, I am. Can you come talk to myself and my Abs partner? Absolutely. Mr. Kute, I'm sorry to tell you, but your daughter's been involved in an accident, and the chaplain has some additional details. Mr. Kute, I, I'm sorry to inform you that your daughter was killed in the accident with a drunk driver this morning. Uh, you sure it's her? Well, we'd like you to come down and identify just to make sure, but uh, every indication is that it's your daughter. Okay. Right now, we need to do yeah, that? Can you yes. come with us, sir? Absolutely, yes. IV. Surgical tip. I'm just gonna have you open your arm up just like that. Perfect. Here, available. Hey, we're gonna go license our. 
Sounds like she was hit head on. Uh, this guy seems like he could have hurt probably. Out. We'll try to get them out as fast as possible here. Heads up, trauma coming through. All right, guys, this is Catherine, 18 years old, motor vehicle collision, surface street. Uh, looks like head on, major compartmental intrusion. Hold it forward, and we'll just practice bilaterally. Good. All right, our appearance is clear. Any pain when I'm pressing? No. Okay. Pain in your belly? Okay. I'm pressing your pelvis here. So, fortunately, it looks like you have a pretty significant spinal fracture. But you know, I'm really sorry to have to tell you I'm concerned that you're possibly paralyzed from a spinal cord injury. Doctor, you want to so, yeah, she was in a really bad car accident. Uh, uh, she had a significant fracture in her spine on the CT scan. Thank you. Thank you. One more critical thing accident, another car. John Doe, about 17, 18 years old. So, he's apneic for me. Uh, and his, you're saying he's pulseless. He's GCS of 3. Let's prepare to intubate, okay? Good breath sounds. Okay. Amy, you want to help your roll? Yeah. Right now. Okay. Uh, improved breath sounds, but he's still pulseless. I believe the he's mother has pulseless. arrived. We're going to invite you to come visit with your son. Okay. Come with me. Do you have any family around that you want us to call? Stand face wall right there. Turn around, take the directions from that deputy. Let's begin then. I'll hear from the people as to your sentencing recommendation, and then we'll hear the victim's statement. This defendant was charged with two counts of gross vehicular manslaughter, as well as driving under the influence causing paralysis. The maximum term that he can spend in custody is 14 years. And we're asking the court to impose that sentence. Tristan, I'm here to tell you that I don't get to hang out with Emily anymore. I don't get to watch her play soccer. I don't get to watch her make TikToks. I don't get to watch her hang out with her younger sister, Charlotte. Those are your decisions you made that made these things happen in my life. Mr. Jones, when you decided to drink, and get behind that wheel, you didn't just say Saxon's life, you took mine. Your Honor, I'm eternally grateful that I was able to come out of this situation alive, and I'm in deep mourning with the parents of those who are lost. I think that the actions leading up to the crash were incredibly irresponsible, though preventable. I was supposed to play, play D1 water polo at Loyola Marymount University next year, and because of the trauma that I've suffered to my legs, I'm unable to do so. And at this point, I'm honestly not sure what will become of my future. Um, I hope that justice will be served for those lost and their families. Thank you. Tristan, you chose to drive impaired under the influence of alcohol and drugs. 
and the lives of our family and others have been completely and utterly devastated. I'm the mother of Tracy James. And I understand that Tristan has made you know, an egregious mistake here today with making the choice to get behind the wheel. And he has had an impact on several lives, including his own. And nothing I can say is going to change that or bring those people back. Your Honor, I would like to apologize to the victims and their families. And although I have no ability to bring back their loved ones, I, I hope that deep in their hearts they can find uh, they can find the ability to forgive me and I promise that every day even though I have to live with this I will make sure I go out and do as much as I can and leave all of my energy into making sure uh, tragic events like this never happen again. Thank you Your Honor. I'm asking the court to consider imposing the lower term on this matter. Um, I, I don't believe that this is a case where I can uh, reasonably ask for probation. I think that the low term of eight years is appropriate. You cannot drink, you cannot take drugs and drive. And some days maybe it's just that you get arrested, and other days it may be that you shattered the lives of your friends and your entire senior class and your community. And that's what we are facing today. So it gives me no pleasure. But in light of the profound impact of Mr. James's actions as to count one, um, and based on the enhancements that the people uh, have pled and have been proven, the court is imposing a sentence of 14 years. Walk into there.